made in Hollywood. Set during the 1950s in post-World War II America, a young Irish immigrant finds herself caught in between two men and two countries in Brooklyn. Hi, this is Sir Sharon and you're watching Made in Hollywood and this is a scene from our new film, Brooklyn. Step over this way, please. Get out of the line. Next. Passport, please. Welcome to the United States, ma'am. I think that you relate a lot to the story and to this character, correct? Yeah, absolutely. It's very much the the journey that my parents made over to New York. The whole feeling of homesickness and kind of um, feeling kind of at a loss when you move to your first place on your own. I was completely in the middle of that when we made the movie, yeah. Would you dance with me? I'm not Irish. So what were you doing at an Irish dance? I really like Irish girls. You have to really find that on-screen chemistry with Sersha. So what kind of bonding or what, did you guys hang out before you started filming? What did you uh, do together? Well, we had a week of rehearsal in Dublin and uh, so we worked together and we, we hung out a bit. Just got to know each other, you know, and um, just got to a place where we, where we could be comfortable with one another. Um, to be that open, you know, that these characters are. Their chemistry is great. They're really brilliant together, and it is adorable. It's also the first one you invest in. It is first love, and there's something very special about that that you can't break. I met somebody, an Italian fella. We're going to Coney Island at the weekend. First experiences, new experiences, they shape a person. That's what mm -hmm. we learn in this movie. When filming Brooklyn, did that new experience shape you in any way? Mm. Oh, that's an interesting one. I mean, I don't, it was two weeks. It wasn't a lot of time, and it was all about the work. But I think I learned on the job, certainly. I really enjoyed working with John. I really thought that Eve, who shot the film, did a really beautiful job. I really liked the way that he worked. I think I learned a lot work-wise. Life-wise, maybe slightly less because we were just working. Um, maybe I learned that I needed a break. I don't know. I learned a lot about, well, you know, I, I came from playing tough guys and bad boys. And, uh, you know, I didn't know that I could play this kind of part any more than anyone else, so I learned that I had that capacity. Ailish, this is Jim Farrell. It's a great pleasure to meet you. I think you just have to look at the other person and kind of open your soul to them. Sersha has done that in movies before. I've had to do it in movies before, and I felt a very strong connection to her when we were doing the scenes. She's a brilliant actress and she's really fun to be around. And I think you can just kind of try and imbue the scenes with that, and I hope we did, you know. I'm gonna say splash anytime I see problems. Good idea. Splash! You just splashed his mother, his father, and the walls. Let's go again. If you were to take yourself out of the movie, who would you want her to actually choose? I, I really don't know, because I, I think the, the really special thing about this film and the very kind of, um, sorry, but un-Hollywood thing about this film is that, you know, neither one option or the other is bad for her. You know, they they both have things to offer her. They both have a different version of security and happiness that she kind of craves and and um, will need in her own way. And so I wouldn't judge her from choosing one over the other. It was sudden. When will they bury her? You want to go home, I guess. How would it be for you if I did go home? I'd be afraid. Afraid that I wouldn't come back. You can make certain decisions when you're young and you're going to change and you're going to grow and, and maybe that will change or maybe it won't but also she's at this stage where she's young and she's open and so I think New York will really kind of shape her and will help her become the person that she's supposed to be. That was the question really is it was really difficult to think about that they have a very short amount of time together it's not built on physical intimacy because that wasn't the way things were really done at that time. It's more based on a legitimate connection which is undeniable. Ireland must seem very backward to you now. Is that Jim Farrell I saw? He's a catch for someone. That's the nice thing is that you'll never know which exactly was the right choice for her. I admire the choice that she makes in it and I think it's very brave to make the choice that she does. But I wouldn't have blamed her for, for sticking in the other place either.